what it is, what it is, ZWC Cruise, you boys, Eddie Chunk Chunk, and we are back again with another banger for you guys today. What kind of banger is this? It's a muck bang! I'm sorry, I just had to make sure my mic is on. I had to look at the viewfinder. But ZCC family, I'm here with a special meal. Once again, this is another meal that's close to my heart because they had this in the Midwest, Midwest and they did not have this down south in Texas. This is Qdoba. And they may have it somewhere in Texas, but in the Houston area, I could not find it. This by far, to me, is way better than Chipotle. If you wanna argue, go in that comment section down below and let's argue. This is the winner, the top dog, Qdoba. And I'm gonna dive in and tell you why I believe it's better. But also, we have a more important topic discussion today because I know you guys have been wondering and asking why haven't I done it? So stay tuned to hear about that. Father God, I wanna thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our body. And I ask that you do please bless this food. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's get a thumbnail. All right, you guys, let's dive in. I have Qdoba, one of my favorites. I already poured some uh, some chips here too on the side. Let me just slide them on in. And um, actually I stopped by an OC spot and she made me, well, she didn't make me, she made in general let me have some leftovers, some jalapeno steak poppers? I don't know. It's like, I don't know, it's like a, it's like cream cheese with steak and bacon wrapped, and this is a jalapeno. And um, she said she just forgot the cheese, but let's go ahead and try this out. That's good. I taste that spice with the jalapeno. Cream cheese, plenty of it. Steak flavorful. And that bacon. Love me some bacon. You know, I feel bad for loving bacon sometimes because I know there's so many people that, uh, that don't rock with bacon or pork. For religious reasons, I'm like, man, am I doing something wrong for liking bacon? <laughs> but uh, let me clean. I'm sorry, y'all. I know y'all probably can't see the mess, but I just can't go with this mess being there. All right, Qdoba bowl. I have half steak, half ground beef, jalapeno, cilantro, extra spicy salsa, spicy queso, and uh, mild salsa too. I went crazy with the salsas and spicy salsa. So. Spicy salsa, mild salsa, and extra spicy salsa. Yeah. And pico de gallo and guac. With half white, half brown rice and black beans. Now, let me tell you guys why I believe Hudoba is way better than Chipotle. First of all, Qdoba has ground beef. I know that's not a fan favorite. I'm a big ground beef guy, but Qdoba has ground beef and I love ground beef. Secondly, they have normal queso and spicy queso. I'm a big spicy, well, not, I was gonna say I'm a big spicy queso, queso fan, but um, if there's an option for it to be spicy, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> and um, they have that option. Chipotle doesn't offer that. Their guac is free. No extra charge for the guac. Chipotle doesn't offer that. Um, they have spicy and extra spicy salsa with mild and medium. A lot more, well, one more um, salsa because I believe Chipotle has probably mild, medium, and hot. 
And um, Qdoba has mild, medium, hot, and extra hot. So I know, uh, yeah, the extra hot uh, option that Qdoba does not have. Another, I mean, that Chipotle doesn't have. Another thing Qdoba has is jalapenos. Chipotle doesn't offer jalapenos. And what else? Um, they had other sauces too. Honestly, I was so geeked up there that I forgot to get. Um, I forgot to get. Uh, what is it called? I'm gonna put this on the other side. I forgot to get. Uh, what is that called, you guys? Sour cream. And what else? I forgot. I forgot something else too that I usually get. Sour cream and uh, oh, and the corn. I forgot to get the corn. I always like to get the corn. Also, Qdoba has cilantro. I don't think Chipotle has cilantro. Just lettuce. Which Qdoba offers lettuce too. That's what I can remember though. I don't know. But yeah. Qdoba, to me, is winning. If you guys at Qdoba around your city, let me know who you guys go, who you guys rock with. Obviously, overall I believe Chipotle has more locations. Chipotle probably technically is a more successful one. But, um, yeah, no. Qdoba got it in my books. But, I digress because the Chipotle and Qdoba war is not what you came for. You guys came for the house tour. And I know you guys are wondering, Dalvin, why haven't you showed a house tour yet? Dalvin, why haven't you posted it? Because usually what I always do is a empty house tour before I get furniture in. So, the reason why I haven't showed it yet, because um, when I first got in, Get in the middle of the night. Next day, went to go pick up the keys, right? And um, got the keys and everything, toured the house, loved it. I actually liked it better in person than over the internet. And um, I did do an empty house video, but not an official tour. I did do an empty house video though. And the um, reason I didn't post that or post or even decide to film an empty house tour um, or just a house tour in general is because Vegas is low key a small city. Not low key, high key. It's a small city. Growing fast, one of the fastest growing cities in America. But Vegas is an extremely small city. And I actually have a very specific house. Like, um, I feel the kind of house I have, if you live in uh, Vegas, you know what neighborhood I live in. And even if you don't live in Vegas, I feel you just got to type a few words or like a few key points, and you'll be able to find my neighborhood. And um, with that being said, you guys know I'm huge on uh, security. Got a ginger ale. This is a Ziviva, Ziva ginger ale is called, where it is sugar calorie free and sugar free. But um, 
You guys know I'm big on security. And uh, I am going to post a house tour. I am going to do that. But first, before I do so, I want to get all my security cameras in place and set up. Like my last place, I was more comfortable showing everything and everything around it because I lived in a high rise and uh, it was like, it was heavily securityed out just by the building. You know, the building had a lot of measures just to get up to my floor, but also my house had a lot of security too. I had a lot of cameras around and everything of that sort. And plus they approved me for it or doorbell cam, which they didn't allow for everybody. Um, but even with a high rise, that is, uh, is multiple people. It's like 400 people, 500 people who live there. So it's not my specific location, my specific house. Here in, in Las Vegas, I did get a house. I'm no longer living in an apartment. And um, it's like Sugar Land. This is back to my specific location. My, you can pull up, this is my specific, uh, specific place of residence, you know? So, I do want to make sure all my security stuff is set in stone. Um, I did, like you guys, I talked to you guys about Vivid because they took my, they took my money. <laughs> they took my money and stuff, but um, not, it was an accident. Obviously, I was upset when it happened, but accidents happened. And uh, still waiting on that refund, by the way. And um, but I just comment. They sent an email saying they approved it. I got some of that installed, which is great. But, um, and those are just my S-side S -side cameras. So I actually have three different camera systems in my house. And um, I don't care if you guys say I'm doing the most. This is actually my hobby. I'm actually learning security. Security and tech is just, is really my hobby. I actually enjoy doing this. Like, doomsday prepping and, and just prepping in general actually is getting sidetracked i do this all the time so i actually watched the show i was watching a quick scene of coupon couponing and like extreme couponing and stuff and i saw someone turn a thousand dollar grocery haul into like 50 bucks and then i'm looking at, and then they go to their house and they have their, their basement is like this whole setup of all their stuff that they bought and it's literally a stockpile and I like honestly that made that show like instantly I, I loved it because of a stockpile. I like the the idea of being ready, having a stockpile, like having a, a to-go bag if the world were to end, having a bunker, being big on security, having a lot of firearms, huge two uh, two A guy, having um just medical supplies, survival books, things of that sort. You know, I'm just big on security. That's what I, that's what I like. So I have my outside. Actually, like I said, I have three different camera systems. I have one through one. I have three. I have cameras through three different companies. So I have three different apps with the cameras. So I have my outside cameras, and I got some inside cameras by two companies. I got my third company. I need to get installed, and I have. And I actually got to buy five more cameras. But I got six right now. I got to buy five more, and I got to get them installed all inside the house. Once I do that, I will be willing to post a house tour. Am I worried someone's gonna do something to me? No, no, that I, I, I don't, I don't feel no one's on that. But you know, pray, praise the guy that hopefully no one is on that. But I'm a rather be safe than sorry kind of guy. That's how I've always been in my whole entire life. My parents will always tell you, even as a kid, I used to hide kitchen, I used to hide kitchen knives on the side of my bed or under my bed. Always. Uh, been that way and I know some people may say oh is it scary is it fear I don't think it's that no well, I don't think it's that I know it's not that because um I'm not expecting something to happen I just like to be prepared like for example I want to buy a bunker I pray and I hope that my lifetime nothing happens where I have to get in my bunker but um it'd just be nice to have because I just like that kind of stuff. And then plus, I believe eventually the bunker will become a use. Probably not in my lifetime, but a bunker is something I want to buy to pass on to my family through generations where three, can three grandkids from now, if the world wants to go crazy, 
they have a bunker that their great 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 granddad bought when he was alive, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm into that kind of stuff. But, I promise, picky promise, you guys have my word, give me the picky, bam, kiss it, you kiss it on the screen, kiss it on your phone, mwah, mwah. picky promise, you guys will get a house tour. Why? I like doing house tours. I like showing, and also I like posting house tours because of the fact that it's just showing my progress and history through life. And like, it's nice to go back to old videos. I still have my house tour from when I, before I even started YouTube, like when I was leaving Appleton to, to move back to Milwaukee to start my YouTube journey. And it's so nice to see in the, the growth and the different stages in life. So I'm 100% I'm going to post a house tour. I want to post a house tour. It's just, right now, I need to get all my ducks to the road before I feel comfortable posting my house tour. You know what I mean? Secondly, another reason why I low-key didn't post a house tour, but this is not the biggest, really security is the biggest reason. Secondly though, is um, I need a professional video, a videographer to do it. I miss my homie Rashad. If I wanted to do the monk mains, I could still do it because we could send it through retransfer, but I miss my homie Rashad. He did all my house tours. Actually, yeah, he did every house tour. Well, in Texas, I made it, I made it seem like I had so many houses in Texas. I only had two places in Texas, but he did both of them in Texas uh, for me. And when I were, when I was getting my, when I got my, um, my loft, apartment here in Vegas the first time when I was gonna move the first time to Vegas I had a loft apartment um, he flew out to do a house tour for me and then I ended up canceling and everything and stuff of that sort so he ended up uh, not doing it we just turned up it was like a mini vacation you know but um he even flew up to do my house tour in Vegas last time I was going to move here so I do want him out here to do that uh, well, I don't know if I may just find a videographer. I haven't really looked for anybody in Texas. I mean, in Vegas. If you guys know friends or family uh, who are heavy into this videographer game, yo, tell them to hit me up. If they're ready to grind, and I'm not just talking about a house tour. I'm talking about let's take on Vegas, bro. I'm letting you know right now. I'm talking to you. And send this clip to your friend or family. Bro, if you're hungry and you're in Las Vegas, you're a videographer and editor, and you're hungry, you're ready to grind, you're ready to shine, bro, I'm telling you, let's do this and let's go to the top because I'm ready to grind. I'm ready to show this city like never before, bro. I want to show Vegas in a whole new light. I want to show why I love this city so much. And if you're hungry, you got that drive, and you have free time, you know, because I'm trying to grind at least, with a videographer, probably at least three times a week. Um, yeah, man, I know it takes a lot of freedom because like my last guy, Rashad, he didn't have a wife, kid. Oh, he had a kid, but his kid was more, his kid's more grown. His kid's a teenager. So it wasn't like he had to be around him 24 seven, you know? So if you win Vegas, man, and you hungry and you ready to make it to the top, we can do that. I 100% believe in us and uh, I'm ready to pump out this content. I'm ready to show Vegas in a whole new light. So, hit me up. But um, yeah, so I don't know. If I find a videographer that I like, I probably will do a house tour with that person. Otherwise, I, got, I think I gotta fly my homie out here. <laughs> I gotta fly my homie out here because I need, I need him on my team. <laughs> And it's so hard to find someone who knows your style. Honestly, well, um, when I first met Rashad, he didn't know my style at all. I had to teach him and grow with him, you know? And even that's difficult because it's like a relationship. Well, the reason why I'm saying it's like a relationship is because now I have to do it all over again. And me and this video, I have to get to know each other, get comfortable with each other, have to learn my style and everything of that sort. And I feel like being, um, 
working with a videographer, you guys need to be like friends. You guys need to be buddies. You can't just be work partners. Because if they know your personality, then they will know, oh, we should do this, we should do that. Because honestly, a videographer has to have a vision too. He has to be able to make scenes and film, you know what I mean? It's not all the creator's idea because creator knows, creator obviously has artistic input and, and is the one filming, but the videographer needs to be very creative too because he knows what kind of shots will look dope on that camera, you know? Hmm. I digress, but yeah, man, I, I promise you guys you're going to get a house tour. I know you guys wanted it so bad. And I, I got a clip. I got a clip. I may have to do a voiceover because I didn't do like an official. I just did something on my phone. But I technically have an empty house tour video. I know y'all want that, don't y'all? I don't want that to drop. Let me just get these cameras set up, man. And I got y'all. No matter what, I got y'all. Don't worry. 100% got you guys on a house tour. Man, it's Chipotle. I love Ch I'm not Chipotle. I'm gonna I'm gonna mess up a lot and say Chipotle because <laughs> I'm just I haven't had cubed open in over three years. Living in what you call it, H Town for three years. Never had it. I haven't had it for that long. Wow. Possible rain coming here in Las Vegas. Today it was raining earlier, oh my goodness. I'm mad, I was in the bathroom, right? I'm brushing my teeth and I heard driplets, droplets. I'm like, do I leave water on? I look outside, I see no rain from the bathroom window. So then go uh, downstairs, go to the living room and I noticed it's raining. I saw the concrete was wet. Oh my goodness, I wanted to go outside and start doing some You Got Served dancing. One thing is, don't take rain for granted here in Las Vegas because it doesn't rain at all. I know they probably have a monsoon season. I haven't experienced it yet. So, I was happy to see a little bit of rain. I actually mad I didn't get a video of it. <laughs> That's how rare it is. <laughs> You know, being so much into uh, like security and stuff of that sort, another thing that goes hand in hand with it is uh, combat, combat and mixed martial arts. And I live in a home of the of fighting. This is the capital, fighting capital of the world. Boxing and MMA all goes down here. And um, like you know, I go to the gym playing fence, but I really just need to sign up for uh, a MMA class, man, and get to it. Cause I think that's a valuable skill to have, you know, especially uh, jujitsu. And the workouts are not crazy. So I love to try it. Look at that one on. I should really like these. I gotta hit him in the corner, so you gotta make more of these. 
I like how the hot pepper didn't have a loss of flavor. I feel like if you put a hot pepper in the oven, that spiciness goes away. Hot pepper still got its flavor. And the meat's really seasoned. But, not so really short. I haven't forgot about y'all. How sure it comes soon. Also, I would have done it if I didn't live in a very specific place. I would have done it without all my security cameras. Because, um, well, you guys wouldn't know where, where it was located, but, um, and also know we get a lot of supporters here in LV. Honestly, every time I came to visit, I always got recognized in LV. And then plus me and my family, we did a house, uh, not a house tour. A, uh, what is it called? A meet and greet in fashion so mall, you know? And a lot of people can't support, which I really appreciate. And like I said, if you live here, you're gonna know. Even if you don't, you're gonna be able to find out. <laughs> so, but it's gonna come, promise you, promise you that. Hope you guys enjoyed this meal. Once again, go in that comment section and argue with me if you believe Qdoba is better than Chipotle. Uh, or if you rock it with me with that uh, with that uh, advice. Like I just, Qdoba just has so many op more options. That's why I rock with it. I love, I tend to like places with more options. Like Zapspies versus Raising Cane's. I rock with Zapspies because they got a lot more options. Um, make sure you guys follow me, man, on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. All is at the church check. That is Z-A-D-D-Y-C-H-U-N-K-C-H-U-N-K. When I do do the house tour, maybe a a, a halfway furnished house tour. So <laughs> y'all stay tuned tuned for that. Stay on the lookout. But ZCC family, as we all know, the grind never stops until the ZCC gang is on top. Let's get it!